As of late, all of the politicians pushing for gun control and the anti-Second Amendment groups who support them are saying this. Guns are the number one killer of children in the United States of America. The number one cause of death of the children in America is gun violence. The number one killer of children under the guns age of Guns are the number one. Because guns killer. are the number one killer in America. Kids. You see, these people are very cunning and very smart with their communication. They also understand if there is one universal truth, it's that when it comes to little kids, all bets are off. We do any and everything to protect them. So they know that when you hear guns are the number one killer of children, it sounds terrifying because you imagine this means all of these little kids are being murdered by guns. That is until you realize that when they say kids, they mean anyone under the age of 20. And when they say killed, they're also including self deletions and self defense shootings by cops and civilians. You see, they all got this talking point from this letter put out by the New England Journal of Medicine. This letter used CDC homicide numbers to conclude that guns are the leading killer of kids and adolescents in the United States, but it defines children and adolescents as a person one to 19 years of age. Last I checked, an 18 and 19 year old is an adult, not an adolescent or a child. And as the Crime Prevention Research Center so aptly puts it, their measure of defining children for everyone 19 and under is crucial because there's a lot of gang violence for 17, 18 and 19 year olds. The notion that banning guns is going to stop this drug gang violence is simply not serious. You are going to be as successful in stopping gangs from getting guns as you are from stopping them from getting illegal drugs to sell. Defining children is as including people who are 18 and 19 has been a common approach by gun control advocates. It is common that 75 to 80% of firearm injuries for those under 20 involve 17, 18, and 19 year olds. Then there's the issue including self deletions in these numbers. There is no reason for self deletion numbers to be included in the stat because in places where guns are banned, total self deletion rates remain unchanged. People just simply change how they self delete. But they want to keep those numbers in there because by excluding firearm self deletions, it would reduce the number from CDC by 30 to 35%. Then there's the issue of using homicide numbers versus murder numbers. Homicides include murder plus self-defense shootings from cops and civilians. It is brutally deceptive to include self-defense shootings in a stat used to justify restricting guns that people use for self-defense. So you're wondering, What's the number difference when you account for all of the deceptive definitions I just mentioned? Well, if you use their inflated numbers in 2020 and 2021 for those under the age of 20, more of that age range died from guns versus car deaths, which is usually number one. However, when you account for just the age range, i.e. those under the age of 18, things change. And from 2019 to 2021, guns are not the highest killer of children and adolescents. So, the next time someone tries to use this soundbite in a conversation about guns, guns are the number one killer of children in America. Send them this video along with this t-shirt I'm wearing. Guns are common sense because clearly people don't realize that common sense means good sense and sound judgment and practical matters. So if someone is trying to kill you or the people that you love, it's only common sense to have the most effective means to protect yourself from that threat. And the most effective way to do that is to have a gun you know how to use responsibly and effectively. Taking guns away from good people is the opposite of common sense. So head over to shop.mrcoleonor.com and get yourself and that person a shirt, hat, or drinkware today. Also, if you haven't already, be sure to check out my YouTube membership program. It has three group levels, the Pew Pew Life, the Militia, and of course, you know, the disgusting amosexuals. Each group comes with its own perks and benefits. So if you wanna learn more, hit the link in the description section if you don't see the join button by the subscribe button. Because if you do, you can just hit the join button. But if not, just hit the link in the description section. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.